Ladies and gentlemen, what a glorious day! We have potentially one of my favorite stories unfolding as we speak. The return of Poodie P into the tussling ring of YouTube commentary and drama. So as a lot of you may or may not be aware, Japan has become a breeding ground of insufferable, cringed YouTube shit over the last couple of years. I feel like it all started with Logan Paul going to, to in like 2017 or whatever to literally ruin the country for his entire audience. Going up there throwing fish and shit at cars and breaking random vendors' Game Boys and disrespecting people in temples and, well, he did something in a forest. I can't exactly remember what he did there. But ever since then... Japan has become a breeding ground for these vlogger losers where people would just go to Japan, make an absolute mockery of the culture and people for the sake of attention, and it's been a disaster. It's been awful. Japan has gotten to the point that they are treating YouTubers like terrorists, okay? And honestly, rightfully so. Now, one YouTuber that has moved to Japan and perfectly did join the Japan treating YouTubers like terrorists is hilarious and valid, true. But anyway, PewDiePie is currently semi-retired. He's living in Japan, and he is actually respecting the culture. And uh, despite the fact that this is the guy that's always getting canceled by Twitter, just goes to show where Twitter's uh, actual brain cells lie. They'll cancel people like PewDiePie because uh, he did something cringe 10 years ago. <laughs> actual nutcases. But um, PewDiePie just dropped a video, YouTubers are ruining Japan, and uh, he cooks. He cooks! I just saw one clip where he taws, he says that uh, Japan is an infestation of YouTubers. The, that that one-minute clip on on uh, was floating around, but we're getting into it. We're going to see exactly how hard he goes, and honestly, I'm so happy that someone like PewDiePie is actually talking about this. Uh, also, funny update, Johnny Somali, public nuisance extraordinaire, guy that's literally been harassing people in Japan and then went to Israel to harass people in Israel, uh, actual monster of a human being, is threatening to sue PewDiePie over this video. So this is going to be a wild riot. Let's see what we got. Bro, literally would murder Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Just saying. Okay, Felix. You know when uh, strangers start small talking with you, they get uh -huh, in there, uh -huh. right? They ask. I, I missed the golden age of PewDiePie covering drama and shit. He was so based. Uh, but Twitter cancels me anyway, so they'll so they'll cancel me for liking PewDiePie too. All right. Questions. So, Ken, what do you do for a living? Are you a YouTuber? Are you? <laughs> Look, I'm never going to see you again in my life. Do I really have to tell you my life story? You complete stranger. Go, like, leave, leave me alone. I don't want to tell you something. asking me questions. <laughs> I am a YouTuber. Oh, yeah, but I'm not that kind of YouTuber, okay? <laughs> Dude, that's rough, honestly. Right, imagine needing to... You go to Japan, and they're like, so, are you a YouTuber? And they're like, what kind of a question is that? YouTubers, they're the worst. We know because we it's are It's true. YouTubers. It's so true. It's so true. I'll, I'll, anytime I watch a YouTube video and someone says something like it's factual, I always question it. I have become a miasma of distrust and hatred whenever i see people saying things i literally don't trust anyone anymore none of them thank god we have poppy gloria out here YouTubers, YouTubers ruin everything and right now can yeah. youtubers are ruining japan no Whoa. not japan it was the holy <laughs> did he not even record did ken not record his visuals holy land <laughs> no holy land so this all started of course with it's so funny there's two types of youtubers that go to japan weebs that are generally very respectful somehow and then you got the absolute fuck nuts that want to just mess with a culture uh it, and there's nothing in between there's literally nothing in between logan paul yeah. Now oh, it's become dude. an infestation. All these I, YouTubers this is the clip I saw. It has become an infestation. Are coming, trying to be as obnoxious as possible, get a bunch of attention, get a bunch of hate clicks. Bing bada boom bada bum. Fucking nog blah. And now, can dude, the fact that Logan Paul, his Japan arc is not even the worst part of his career through backstabbing his friend and covering up sexual assault and scamming his audience, like. Holy shit, that dude has like the uh, the Michelin chef stars of YouTube hood. It's come so far that Japan is actually oh. starting to take action. The military of Japan did a drill where they simulated what? a bunch of YouTubers what? driving into their <laughs> military base to live stream. <laughs> no! That's the greatest thing I've ever- 
dude, this this is this is honestly just humiliating and embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. Dude, look at this. They simulate being YouTubers as a drill for the military. They are that much of a threat to the culture and peace. Dude, look at this. Oh my god, this is embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> they have nothing better to worry about than than youtubers oh my god uh, don't don't get me wrong i'm making fun of japan right now i'm I, i'm i'm embarrassed to even share a similar occupation to these miscreant shit stains on youtube camera <laughs> i like the looks around like what did I and they're like no 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 you cannot <laughs> you cannot live can reaction yeah it's just freaking grandpa from uh ben 10 let's go Oh, yeah. They didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> They're just practicing arresting people as selfies. This is awful. This is literally awful. The YouTuber defense drill. I've never seen something this this just embarrassing in my life. Yes, arrest them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get that YouTuber. Get the, oh, get, the bomb, YouTuber. get the bomb. Get the bomb squad. Who knows what they got? They've never what? cleaned anything. <laughs> it's, just it's like be, I, you know what? You mean you're all laughing that they brought a bomb squad guy with a big thing to test the YouTuber car? You're all laughing and joking, but can you not see the next generation of Johnny Somali live streaming actual bomb threats? Like that is literally the next step. You are going to look back at Lord Prophet Nor over here, all right? Your boy over here predicting it. There will be vlogger YouTuber bomb threats. There will be. Because they didn't punish Johnny Somali. They didn't punish him. They arrested him and they let him go to just wreak havoc in a different country. Get the bomb squad, the bomb squad. Who knows what they got? They've never cleaned <laughs> oh anything. <laughs> just kind of like YouTubers don't shower. They're all just chemical warfare every time a youtuber shows up it's just chemical warfare dude oh no believe it i thought it was like an actual youtuber first and i'm like wait a minute no 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 it's just a <laughs> it's an anti-terrorism yeah. oh my god dude <laughs> look at this it's the streaming backpack no 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 it's just a <laughs> it's drill. this is this is humiliating this is honestly just humiliating holy crap oh my god dude i've never been so ashamed never Time terror. Yeah. It's like when, uh, you know, when a doctor finds out that another doctor, like one of his colleagues, turns out he was a, a fucking psychopath and he was he was giving people chemotherapy to build them and faking, making believe that they had cancer or some shit. There was a doctor that was arrested for something like that. Then other doctors are like, I'm embarrassed to be a doctor because of pieces of shit like that guy. Like this, this is my, my awakening moment. I literally feel like, like my colleagues out here are, are God damn it. Dude, and I'm even streaming on Kick. Like these guys are YouTubers, but I'm 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 on YouTube and on Kick. Okay, in my defense, they pay me money, but also, bro, actual secondhand embarrassment right now. Terrorism. <laughs> oh YouTubers my God. Are YouTubers terrorists are terrorists, according to Japan. <laughs> I love how they're treating them like honestly based, honestly based. Because if if someone if someone will do anything for attention, then you don't know how far they would go. Uh, and I think calling, calling them terrorists is actually pretty basic. And, <laughs> and they're not that it's far so off. That's the thing. They're not even oh that God. far off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the video. There's something I wanted to This video is sponsored by G Fuel, a sponsor that I personally used to have but dropped because they have uh, done some cringe stuff behind the scenes. Anyway, I even saw you did a video on it because there was a bunch of YouTubers doing all of this like, ah, crazy yeah. stuff in Japan. I, when it first came out, like I didn't want to cover it because I just thought like you're just mm. giving them more attention. Yeah, dude. PewDiePie, he's been trying so hard to be retired. But like at some point, you know, it's just it's on your chest. It's on your chest. You want to let it out, dude. You just want to let it out. Ugh. Don't talk about it. I know the feeling. Sometimes like I, I, I'll say to myself, you know what? No more drama. And then the next day I'm like, ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That guy just did something fucking stupid. And I want to talk about it. Just leave them alone. Let them be idiots. But now Japan, like this, is starting to take actual Dude, action against this. these sort of things. The most recent thing is this uh, Mount Fuji blocking view. No, oh, I, I did, I did say something about this. What? But I didn't understand Dude, it. For me, like the, the big YouTube uh, Japan thing recently has been... Th there's this one guy, Johnny Somali, who uh, he's a kick streamer, I think. And he's, he live streams himself just embarrassing people in public, calling people slurs. Like he would walk up to random Japanese people on a subway and he would just yell in their face, Hiroshima Nagasaki, which is just like, holy shit, that is awful. How the fuck can you do something like that? Uh, and uh, like, oh my Lord. And he would literally do that to everyone, everyone. 
it, it, actual monster. And so so that guy, he was doing that. Now he's now he's uh, causing wreaking havoc in Israel, trying to hit on every female soldier he sees and say that I can buy you, I can own you, I can protect you. And it's like this, this guy's actual fucking monster. Um, recently, unfortunately for Johnny Somali, he doesn't realize that Israeli people are very not like Japanese people, and he recently had the shit beat <laughs> beat out of him on stream, uh, <laughs> which is one of my favorite moments. I have to say, I am proud of my people. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Uh, but anyway, there's this other guy, Phidias. He's another YouTuber that he came. He wanted to try to basically rob Japanese people without getting caught. He said, can I travel through Japan without paying money? And he would show himself just, uh... oh, my God, dude. What was going on, really? In Japan, they have these kombinis, and there's uh, Lawson, which is like iconic for Japan. And then you have Mount Fuji here in the background. Beautiful shot. All right, People all right. love it. You get Mount Fuji. That's very nice. Mount Fuji in the background. Lawson. All right, cool, cool. You get the Lawson. You stand in front. You go like, look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, wholesome YouTuber tourist. All right, dude. I saw some. Oh, yeah, dude. Another thing Johnny Somali was doing is like he would harass a female cop in Israel and then they would like start asking him questions and he's like, I am American. You can't hurt me. I'm American. Like that'll save him. Like that'll save him, bro. You think you think Biden is going to say two shits if Johnny Somali just somehow disappears? What else do this exact photo? So I have to do the exact same thing because I am unique. Me. That's okay, YouTubers. You know, you yeah. see someone else make a video, you, the only thing that can make <laughs> True! that video better is if you I make just, it. I realized as I was making Dude, every YouTuber, every YouTuber, I saw someone else made this video and it did well. I'm going to make the same video just with my hot take. Making fun of it, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're mainstream and don't want to get canceled, in which case I'm going to make the same exact video, except I'm going to have absolutely no opinion. So no one can cancel me for that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, it's the hardest part of being a YouTuber is when you copy someone's video and then you got to title it and you're like, but they got such a good title. Good. True. How can I make it? <laughs> yes. Oh, he made a video titled The Downfall of Johnny Somali. What am I going to do? I know. The Obliteration of Johnny Somali. All right, we got them. We got them. Speak in mine. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. You got the good title already, but my thumbnail is better. Take a mine. Dude, YouTubers stealing from YouTubers, it's just... It's it's healthy, honestly. It's healthy. Keep stealing shit from each other, gamers. Keep doing it. Live your dreams. I've been to this Lawson by mistake, Ken. We were staying at our Airbnb nearby, and I was like, why the, why are the people on the other side of the room taking <laughs> pictures of a Lawson? And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, I'm at that Lawson. Oh, <laughs> it's like, why are they taking pictures in front of a in front of a grocery store? That's so weird. I should probably. I had that feeling, Ken. I had the thought. I was like, oh, I should take a photo. And then I saw there was no crosswalk, and you can't jaywalk in Japan. That's mm. like. Murder practice. Dude, d d that's Japan, bro. That's Japan. It's like complete. Uh, it's respectfulness incarnate, and it's the fact that all the YouTubers are going to Japan to cause shit. Like that's insane. That's insane. So I was just like, ah, f it. I'll take it tomorrow. Next day, super overcast, oh. can't see. Oh, I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> and now they're putting up a big in cover, so what? people can't take <laughs> like photos of it because people are blocking. <laughs> Too much. Get out of here. God damn. I Dude, they're, they're ruining the the scenery so that people don't take pictures. Yeah, but, but all right, all right. I mean, Japan Japan cares about, like, uh, order so much. They just care about order. They can't stand the chaos. And that is the culture. How do you go to another culture and just fucking g go crazy like that? Then what is up with, with YouTubers who are always American, by the way. It's always the American YouTubers. I think they just go to other countries and, and start shit. I Show Speed is in Korea right now starting shit. Like, what is even going on? Bro, I'm gonna start deportation speed running. Like, uh, it's it's wild to me. Never heard of me. Uh, Unbelievable. Unbelievable jaywalking. Uh, that would never be me. I love the guy with the lightsaber. These are everywhere in Japan trying to direct people. Uh, he's trying to stop him. Like, don't do it. You're not. You know, I bet PewDiePie added those blurs. Look at these. Uh, not saying Japan. It's a nation of uh, a nation of respect. So it's so wild that people feel like, oh shit, it's a nation of respect. Think about how good the content would be if I'm disrespectful, and everyone's too respectful to call me out on it. The whole blur his face because. <laughs> oh, respect! He's blurring the face of the guy that he's going to be covering, not to give him any attention. Honestly, nothing but respect, dude. If only everyone would do this, like. We only know about Johnny Somali because of all this stuff, but he loves the fact that people actually heard of him now. In his mind, he is famous because he did all this shit. But he's only famous because of the people making fun of him. 
But at the same time, I have made more money making fun of Johnny Somali than Johnny Somali has made being Johnny Somali. So this is a dub. It's not worth any money. Phidias, I covered, I just told you about this guy. His goal was to tra travel through Japan without money and he would climb into buses and shit and people. Yo, what the? Benito, thank you so much for the fat raid. Oh my Lord, 1,400 peoples. Thank you so much. Jeebus, Phlebus. That's very, very nice of you, sir. Oh my glob. Thank you so, so much for the raid. Hope your stream was good. We are currently watching a uh, a Swedish man in Japan making fun of American people in Japan. This is peak content, ladies and gentlemen. Now this is diversity. Get out of here with your, with your uh, freaking Velma reboots. No, sir. Now this is the diversity we're talking about. Swedish people making fun of American people in Japan. Am I right, gamers? Hello, honorable egg boys. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. That was really, that was really wholesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't know the the players on kick, so uh, I feel like I can't thank you properly enough. But uh, I will definitely, gamers, check out Benito SDR. He was playing sports of some of some sort. Hell yeah, definitely check out the uh, the guy. Very cool of him. I'll link him in the chat so you can check him out. Thank you all so much for uh, for dropping in. Yeah, go go go! Give the man a, a follow back. Go check him out. Very cool. I bet you raiders smell nice. I bet you they don't. They're watching a kick stream. All right, let's see what we got. Anyway, back to this. Dude, I hate I I hate this freaking guy. Phidias out here. For those of you that are unaware, you think Phidias is just bad because of his Japan video? We did a deep dive on Phidias on uh, on the Some Ordinary podcast recently. This fucking guy. So first of all, he del he actually did end up deleting um this Japan video, I'm pretty sure. But if you look at the rest of his content, actual nutcase, uh, all of his videos are insane. I spent 100 hours in the world's poorest country, and it's just him. Surrounded by like black kids like what the what are you doing? Every single one of his videos is, is the same level of insanity. He did one skid row thing. That was cringe He's also a professional stalker. He's been stalking Elon Musk for years. I think that's the guy Yeah, I almost hugged Elon Musk and I finally hugged Elon Musk My best friend spoke with Elon Musk day 21 of trying to hug Elon Musk guys an actual psychopath Honestly, and he did one thing trying to harass people in Japan. That was his his new gimmick. It was pretty awesome Yeah, that's this guy People pay when they go out of the bus. It's time to go down. So yes. 680. Yeah. Right he's charging him for using the bus, you know because he used the bus Six. 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 No, no, And he's just saying no. He's just saying no No uh, police. No, no. Come on, police. Yeah, police. Call the police. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. 18 yen. Police. I'm based. Honestly, you cannot get away with anything. Honestly, it's respectable. It is respectable. I, I stand by this man. You give him a finger and he wants a hand. You don't cave to terrorists. This right here, this is a terrorist. These YouTuber guys that are harassing the country for the sake of content, actual terrorists. Don't give in. Arrest him! <laughs> no trial! Dungeon! 12 years dungeon! No lawyer! I mean, yeah. He went on clearly, like, not wanting to pay. How His whole YouTube video was all about going on to public transportation. You don't understand. That was his content. Trying to get through Japan for free. He was literally just trying to rob people throughout the country and he filmed himself committing the crime because he's an idiot. Does he not have that? By the way, 18 yen? He does have that. The point was the challenge. You know how Mr. Beast has his challenges? You know, last person to take their hands off the Lamborghini wins $10,000. His challenge was, can I rob people throughout the country? Can I film myself committing felonies? There's no way he doesn't have that. He's just like refusing to pay for mm -hmm. drama. For content. That was the video. Let me see if I can actually find the video. He ended up getting arrested in the middle of the video, I'm pretty sure. I can't find the screenshots of the video. He ended up deleting it because, you know, he, uh, unironically, actual moron, actual nuisance. Dude, I, I hate gaming journalism. I hate YouTuber journalism. It's so bad. 
You can never find anything you want. It's all the worst thing. Anyway, Phidias ended up removing his video, but the video was, can I travel through Japan for free? Where he did a challenge trying to basically rob people throughout the country. Has to be it. <laughs> Literally the shittiest YouTuber idea of all time. It's like, it's up there with the freaking porn tournaments. There's no way. He's saying, I think I got in trouble, guys. I don't I think I got in trouble, guys. When he said police, I thought I think I got in trouble. I don't know what he's saying. Yeah, he's he spoke English. English. <laughs> that was English, you fucking idiot. Dude, actually, to be fair, Japanese people do this to me, where they're so shocked that if you speak Japanese, they just refuse to. Uh -oh. Why is he holding his nose? Understand you? Uh yeah, they're like, when? <laughs> I get it. Like, I probably say it so badly. That he was also racing his friend. Okay, dude, uh, it's coming back to me. I watched this video when he first dropped it. I was so flabbergasted that he actually did it. The video's worse than you think. It was a challenge a mr beast challenge is like the four of us are gonna try to get from this point a to point b in japan for free and all four of them basically film themselves committing crimes traveling through japan for content actual brain dead that they don't get it but at the same time i'm like i know i know just <laughs> meet me halfway just meet me halfway <laughs> please <laughs> I'm trying to order McFlurry. God damn it. So a lot of words that are Americanized has to fit their- I've seen memes of this. Yeah, it's like, a McFlurry? What? McFlurry, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's honestly like that everywhere, though. It's like that everywhere, where they only understand it in, uh, in the native country's accent. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of words just sounds like racist, but right. it's actually how it's said. When I'm in the drive-thru, I'm trying to order McFlurry, and I go, McFurari. But they're like, eh? McFry potato? So you got, you got, what? Uh, McFurari. And they're like, they just don't get it. I'm like, desato, like dessert. Aisu, ice cream. Ugh, why don't they get it? And then I squint, no. it's not you McFurari. You know, he's oh, trying. McFurari. And they're like, oh, McFurari. Oh, so, so, so. I'm like, God. <laughs> Damn it! It's the Fluri, of course! And apparently a lot of people, I'm not the only one, I ask friends and they're like, yeah, yeah, no one can order the McFlurry. <laughs> the sweet, no one it. can order the McFlurry. It's just, it's a countrywide, unorderable food through the gods. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this in every uh, not English speaking country that um, you'll have food that actually has uh, the English name, like that's what it's called. But because of your pronunciation of the English name, they just don't actually know what it is. It's hilarious. Uh, I feel like the most common ones are anything with a TH in it. Like, they will not understand you if you say it with a TH. You say, hey, can I have this thing? And it literally starts with a TH, and they will not get it. And then if you pronounce TH like, like T instead of TH, then they'll, they'll be like, oh, oh, why didn't you say so the first time? Obviously. Believe All right, it. back he to this video. in the bus and drove me to the police station. And now it's time to teach you how to- Yeah, he actually drove him to the police station number 18 <laughs> oh yet. God, which dude, is God, dude actually got arrested, fucking loser. Absolutely true. Plus, like, if you're trying to go across Japan, you wouldn't go on a bus. Like, he clearly went on a bus yeah, yeah, yeah. to do this. It's content, it's man. Right. Content. Hate, hate so you gotta, gotta get the content. The whole concept of this video is that whoever wins this race gets $10,000, which is such oh. a lie. Oh, yeah. It is, it's all fake. It's literally all just uh, content farming and uh, bullshit. It's, it's a disaster. They should be treated like terrorists, honestly. You're literally making a mockery of a country in front of millions of people. Like, that. that is... That is awful. Ooh, yeah, me and my buddies have bet this money between each other. We'll definitely pay, wink, wink, yeah. So he now takes the Shinkansen, like the fast train. Time to teach you how to get the train for free. So I'm in. Time to teach you how to get the train for free. It, this isn't a life hack. You're a criminal. Okay, tutorial how to do mm -hmm. something for free, Ken. Just don't pay. The secret ingredient is crime. The thing is, you can't <laughs> enter this area without buying oh a ticket. My God. So he's already lying. Unless you jump over, which I doubt yeah, he would have filmed that if he did that. So he, he already lied. Like he yeah, yeah, he definitely did spend money. He's just filming the parts that he actually got away with criminal activity. The rest of it, he definitely, uh, he definitely did pay money. Bought a ticket just to fake mm -hmm. that he didn't buy a ticket. The train, and I will find uh, the toilet and go straight to the toilet. Here is the bathroom. I would just lock myself. Way to look like the <laughs> least <laughs> conspicuous as possible. No one will ever know. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, no. Dude walks into the bathroom, locks himself in, is like, but if I'm locked in the bathroom, they'll never check that I didn't pay my ticket. And I'll be able to get there for free. This is a life hack, guys. Check out my new episode of Five Minute Crafts, where I teach you how to make a uh, a plastic 3D printed handgun to commit untold atrocities. <laughs> no one will suspect me. 
So I came to my destination now. I think he is waiting for me outside. And I was right. He was just waiting to catch me. So the only no! thing I can do is to pretend that I'm sick. Yeah, that, that's the thing to do. Yeah, just pretend that you're sick. Yep. That's the only thing you could do in that situation. Not just like buy the ticket. You know, when you're in trouble and you may be arrested, just pretend like you're sick and they'll just let you go. Oh, you're sick. You're oh free to go, God. sir. Sorry. <laughs> oh. it's like, I committed a crime. Let me start coughing so that they don't. <laughs> Released me and immediately I started running. But he called the police and they are searching for me now. Then that's yeah, he, he, they're searching for him. Yep, that, that's our that's our boy. That's our boy Phidias on the run from the law. Actual terrorist. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That's how you anyway. get stuff for free. As long as you can outrun the police. <laughs> I think because... That's what it's all about, bro. That's what it's all about. Bears aren't dangerous if you just outrun them. True, true. It's Japan. Everyone is so nice. People like assume it's okay to take advantage almost. I, like I'm they have you. this idea that is. people think that they can get away with doing shit that they couldn't get away with anywhere else. Oh, no one's going to tell me off, so it's okay. Yeah, it, dumbasses. Yeah. They're the ones that are like, oh, I can do whatever I want. They're so nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, there's something inherently actually racist about that, I feel like. Well, Damn, I was trying to find like, stuff he did in this video because it was deleted. I found this. Uh, well, I mean, aside from being racist, I mean, he literally walked up. Maybe not him. Maybe this was Johnny Somali. But he would walk up to people. And uh, for me, the, the craziest clip was him walking up to people and saying, Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Ha, 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 ha. What the fuck does that? And then he's pointing to himself. American, American, Nagasaki. Like, dude, that, that is the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. How do you do? You, like, like you put that, you, you lock, you try to add logic to that sentence and you just completely crumble, like actually crumble. It's like, remember how America dropped nuclear bombs on two big cities in Japan? Well, I'm American. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Japanese news one where he gets dubbed. And they do him way too nicely. Like, they give him this cool oh, anime yeah. voice. Oh, really? Thank you. And it's yeah. Like, oh, my God. They literally, they dubbed him. They dubbed, that was Johnny? Yeah, I know. I know, dude. Crazy. He, Johnny Somali was on the train uh, in Japan doing that shit. And, and it took a Texan guy to walk up to him and, uh, and shut him up. The actual Japanese people were just way too nice and they didn't say anything. Oh, well, we Sex in like Voice actor? Oh, it kind of makes me oh. want to commit a crime. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> well, maybe. Dude, that's why I'm saying Japan needs to be harder on these guys. Because if you just, if you could let people get away with it, you are incentivizing other people to do that too. We right now are talking about these these idiots like Johnny Somali and, uh, and Phidias. And the fact that we're talking about them means they actually did get their name out through these atrocities. And if Japan isn't actually going to smack them with legalese, then more people are going to do it because they know it's free advertising. It's like a, it's an all publicity, good publicity type shit with no repercussions because Japan is just way too nice to these bastards. Should have given them the ugly bastard boys. <laughs> Yo, Chuko no yaru. No. They had a whole press conference about this guy. It's crazy. Oh my god, I didn't know it got that far. I do appreciate they take it so seriously though. The they take it super seriously, but then they don't punish them. The head of the head of JR Lines, even yeah, they really took this seriously. Yes, which they should. Good. Good. Yeah. This guy looks like he hasn't slept in months, <laughs> dude. He's been watching every single Johnny Somali and Phidias stream. He's been up. I've consumed every piece of live content. <laughs> Those bags under his eyes, man. He's been watching all the footage. And Yo! God, I hate these, these <laughs> terrorists. Oh. Just said, this is really annoying. Basically, yeah, but honestly, lines. it's hurting these people. They're they're like they're suffering. They they have pride in their country. Way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what his little scheme was. I got a question. Yeah, like the ones that I keep seeing are like our English speaking content creators. What about like the, the Japanese content creators? How are, how are they? Oh. oh, there are there are a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that's fair actually. There was a Shibuya mattress incident. He got arrested. <laughs> Japanese YouTube replaced mattress at Shibuya. Is being investigated by the police. Dude! That's crazy! Oh my god. Dude did what? What is this? Homeless cosplay? And then he got arrested for that? Dude, Japan... Again, Japan is order. They believe in order. Respect. 
you don't do shit that goes against the, the law. They actually arrested this guy. Dude would have gotten away with it completely scot-free if he was in America. This Japanese YouTuber put a mattress in uh, Shibuya Crossing Square, like the most busiest right. place on the planet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this was just a bit silly. I don't, I don't know. I think it's funny. There was a big, like, huge drama here. Huge Japan drama, no! Because people, like, mixed the soy sauce with your what? chopsticks or something. Like, they did something, like, slightly uh -huh. unsanitary. And Are you serious? Are you serious? American drama be like, I scammed my fans for $3 million off CryptoZoo and also fired my uh, best friend, humiliated him, and, and covered up a sexual assault. Japanese YouTube drama. I mix soy sauce with chopsticks. What is even going on? And Jap Japan just like <laughs> Well, you're not supposed to. Uh, ah, ginger, ginger terror, terror they call it. Oh my god, dude. dude, dude, this is this is insane. This is actually insane. This is actually wild. What? Why are we us in America? With, dude, but the crazy thing is, you have corrupt crazos in Japan. You know, you have the Niji Sanji situation, which in my mind is is a travesty. Something like that, I feel like would be so much worse in America because we actually believe in, uh, you know, corporate freedom to some degree. <laughs> <laughs> it's no laughing matter. The police? <laughs> oh, so he double, double dipping, ain't nothing to be fucked with. Pushed his uh, chopsticks into the common use container directly into his mouth. His own oh. chopsticks. Oh my God, he double dipped. Bro, double dipped. Contamination. Directly. You're supposed to use the thong thing. The thong? <laughs> Sushi terrorism! And this behavior is <laughs> Sushi terrorism! Oh my god, dude. Japan is so strict on their own people just doing breaking the peace, but then an American doesn't just get away with it. It gives the, these American idiots just actual infallibility feelings. Dude, that's why I'm so happy that Johnny Somali got the shit beat out of him in Israel. Bro actually went, uh... He went to Japan, got away, completely scot-free. Then went to Israel. Tried to get away with the same bullshit. Holy fuck. What a moron. Become known as Sushi Terrorism. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that they're terrorists. Oh my sushi God. terrorism, baby. <laughs> the counter sushi terrorism department is on the case. God, it's the best word. It's the best description I've ever heard. Oh, God. Which I, I get. It's yeah. gross. Like, yeah, don't, obviously don't do that. The last guy you, everyone's talked about this oh. idiot. We'll just blur him. Oh, and dude, this is the Johnny Somali one. Not talk about him, but it's still worth seeing the footage. Yep, it's I agree. It's, I think it's important to, uh, to cover this shit. Uh, unfortunately, the side effect of covering the shit is that these people get recognition. Uh, but I guess blurring the face is the best way to do it. Idiot. He's all you need to know is he's a kick streamer. I should tell him. Ah, 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 right in the heart. Oh, oh, listen, we're not all like him. We're not all like him, bro, dude. We're not all like him. Everything, That's everything you need to know. Yeah. Ah, it's not. No, Ken, we're friends. Why were? Why are you like this? No. <laughs> I am a sociopath! Oh my god, literally, with all the, the this, the, the ones, and the zoom, and the- No, dude! Bro! Definitely, uh, definitely drop me a follow on kick. We out here, we streaming, we killing, we kicking ass right here. We, we, we streaming on kick. Uh, we, we, we're, we're, we're not, we're knocking shit down, and we're... We're not committing sushi terrorism, guys. Don't worry. It's like bothering people on the subway, and then... What? This Asian what looking guy shows up. Where, you know where I'm from? Where are you from? I'm from uh, America. You're from America? Yes. So am I. You're from America? Yeah, you're being obnoxious. You know what we do to you? What do you do? We will do again. Do oh what? my god. Hiroshima Nagasaki. It's literally worse than I even remembered. It's literally even worse than I actually remembered. We will do it again. We will do it again? Did he just say you all look alike? We will do it again? You understand? Do you think I'm Japanese? Where are you from? I'm from America. <laughs> Where are you from? What's your name? Texas, buddy. <laughs> he just found this one random Texan guy in Japan. Literally. Oh my god. This, this is a nightmare. Oh my fucking god. Garbage human being. What's I love this guy. Texas, buddy. <laughs> Yeehaw, mother. I'm glad, I'm glad other tourists are standing up against yeah. them. Dude, but what's so wild is it's only the tourists, that, the, the American tourists that are willing to break the peace to stand up to this guy who's breaking the peace. Like, it's such a wild concept. Like, the actual Japanese people are so respectful that they're letting him do his shit and, and not going crazy, you know?
How insane is that? That's wild, dude. It, it's brutal. It's brutal. It's brutal. Because what do you do? I, Japan really needs to step up and, and fucking kick these guys' asses. Like, you realize they're making Japan a laughing stock to, like, their communities. It's disgusting. Shout out to the uh, the Israeli kids that beat the shit out of Johnny Somali. Idiot. Sit down, brother. While you sit Following He's such an idiot. So he broke into this. Uh, yeah, so this guy, oh, dude, he also broke into a warehouse in Japan. Oh, from Japan now, and they kick him out oh, is it? for good. Yeah, he, they kicked him out. Yeah, Japan has you know ninety nine percent conviction rate. So. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Order, baby, order. <laughs> you, you get caught, you're in, you're done. That's the thing. Like Japan is nice, but if you f around, you're done. That's uh, what it's all about. It's all about order and respect. Uh, and if you break that order, they will fuck you. So he broke into one of the construction sites. And when told to leave, he kept saying Fukushima, Fukushima, which was the nuclear accident which occurred in 2011. Get mad, bro. He's getting activated, dog. Check. Hey, oh, Fukushima, Fukushima. What are he doing, dude? This is disgusting. Oh, no, 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 no. Fukushima. Hey, Fukushima, Fukushima. So funny, too. So painful. Fukushima. Oh, brother, this guy's yeah, right. This is what got him. What's the joke? There's no joke. This guy's not... It, there's no comedy here. Arrested. Because they Japan takes mm. trespassing very seriously. What's up, so yeah, a bunch of police showed up. Hello, what's up? Because of this. They're so <laughs> polite, oh, even though, like... He's In America, they would have literally turned them around and smacked them against the wall. He's being arrested. Take it, take it. Security check. Huh. What's the security on this? Wait, why are you taking a photo of me? <laughs> What? I like how we ask why they're taking photos. Why are you taking a photo of me? All I did was commit criminal activity. He's, you're live streaming. This is the classic idiot. content creator defense. What's happening? I'm so a feigning ignorance. I have no idea what's going on all of a sudden. I don't speak the language. <laughs> I'm a victim. He loves yeah. it. He loves yep, it. This yep, is his yep. content. Yeah, and uh, funny update. This is why well, another reason why I wanted to cover this is because I wanted to. I want you to know how absolutely it's insane this is. Look! Look how fucking unhinged this is. Despicable shit. Despicable shit. Um, so Johnny Somali, this idiot over here, this moron, this dingus, complete idiot. Look at this guy. See when court Felix streamer Johnny Somali, who was arrested in Japan, threatens to sue PewDiePie after his comments about content creators disrespecting Japan. Like, what are you gonna sue him for, idiot? I don't, well, I don't want to empty my bag into there. Why? I just don't. <laughs> like you're going to jail. <laughs> Put your stuff in here. <laughs> Yo, this is okay. great. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. What insane content, dude. This is crazy. Getting arrested, bro. And he's, all he's thinking about is content. Thinking that his American shield is going to protect him. <laughs> and unfortunately, it does. Unfortunately, it does. <laughs> and they let him go. They were like, all right, you can't travel to Japan anymore. And they let him go. He's like, not our problem anymore. That's it. Not not our problem. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he'll sue you for calling him out. Yeah, sure. He'll sue me. Yeah, he'll sue me and PewDiePie, right? Yeah. Yo, Wallai, this is crazy. Go many, go many. This is being so nice to him. Like, this is not deserve. And the police is like, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to sit down. And he's like, what? This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. Acting like I'm a terrorist or something. Okay. You are a terrorist, piece of shit. There you go, they said it. He is an actual terrorist. But he's been yelling, <laughs> Fukushima Nagasaki, we will do it again. And it was like, I can't believe they treat me like I'm a- <laughs> It's true, that is, that's the ultimate bomb threat. Oh, what, they think I'm a terrorist of some kind? This is crazy, why would they think that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bomb Japan. <laughs> oh, Jesus man. Christ, dude. Yeah, so he got arrested, now he got deported. I don't know if he's banned for life or anything like that, but I, I think- I mean, he'll he probably is, but to be honest, it doesn't solve the problem. Because you'll have a million more Johnny Somalis going to Japan to do this shit in the future. Just because so many people are talking about him right now. It'll be really difficult yeah. for him to enter again. Which is good. Get him out. I watch his channel and he barely has like any views now. That, that's what's so insane. It's the fact that he's like wildly irrelevant. Insanely wildly irrelevant. All of the actual uh, attention that he has is people making fun of him. He is an irrelevant cloud chaser, praying, praying that people will watch him, even if it's to make fun of him. What a, what a pathetic little worm.
never agree with this because people always say any publicity yeah. is good publicity. That's mm. a f line. Yeah, if get out of here. All of it. Moron. One hundred percent. Give me a time machine right now. I'll be the best boy ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not worth it. It's not gonna be worth it. You're not gonna grow your channel. You're just gonna make everyone hate you, and you'll regret it. Don't be an idiot. Better yeah, yet. Well, anyway, uh, positive update. Uh, this is a clip of uh, Johnny Zamali. Uh, and he gets jumped. <laughs> he gets jumped and he gets robbed and he gets his camera stolen and, and kicks video. Twitch's video player is like actually awful. Like, no, 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 The cameraman oh, runs God. away and he falls down. Oh my God, dude. And the, the Israeli kids steal his camera. <laughs> they just steal his camera and they just leave. <laughs> Him and his cameraman. And here, you get the most uh, glasses emoji moment in the universe over here. Dude, I hate Twitter's video player. Okay, let's just talk, bro. Let's just, let's just talk. Yo, what are you doing? Just talk. What are you doing? Just talk, bro. Oh. Yo, bro, what the fuck? Oh, what's going on? Wait, let me, let me see if I can get the... Uh... Oh, fuck. Hey, don't touch me, man. Hey, don't touch me, man. Push his glasses emoji up. Hey. Oh, Ow! Fuck. Dude, these fucking losers. They think they're literally so cool and invincible, immortal behind their I am American shield. <sighs> Don't be, be a terrorist. terrorist. All right, check out Ken if you enjoy this video. We make video together sometime. Ken cover uh, latest stuff like this, probably. Oh, yeah. Probably? What do you mean? Yeah. You don't know? Yeah, anyway, uh, this has been uh, the PewDiePie versus Japanese YouTuber shit fest, uh, and we had to cover it. We had to cover it. Literally, the king came out of retirement to drop this video. Like, you don't understand. Dude has been doing such hard work keeping his nose clean from drama. Like, look at look at his channel right now. Look at his channel right now. He is nose clean from drama. I went to the Holy Land is where he went with his son on a vacation. Reacting to my wife's memes. I studied this linky for 52 days. I made my baby cry. I showed Jack memes. I survived the horror place. Our winter trip. Reddit post changed my life. Like, look at his videos. They're so wholesome. Grandparents came to Japan. I drew every day. Literally the most wholesome freaking videos of all time. Had to come out of retirement, bro. Had to come out of retirement to teach a kid some lesson. To fucking spank some cheeks. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me canceled. See you live on game. Stay weird, man.